Well, we are in the green room, the inaugural run for Kim DeGiulio. Yes, I'm happy to be here. So is Paul Mercurio, comedian, a friend of mine, uh, works on The Colbert Show in New York City, and he comes to town as a touring comedian. Is that the first time you met Paul? Uh, okay, I feel like I've met him before, but I can't really remember specifically, but he's a riot. He's a lot of fun. In fact, you managed to insult his feet. <laughs> well, okay, the dude just comes in here, takes off his shoes on set. I mean, I don't even think <laughs> I've ever been shoeless on set. Here's my interview with Paul Mercurio, a comedian and Peabody winner. He is an Emmy and Peabody Award winner. I did not know this. I can't believe I'm sitting next to him right now. You can see him regularly on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. What are you looking at? <laughs> he also can, looks can like... Can you get off your phone? And, and here, could you pretend, could you pretend to care that I... <laughs> what are you looking at at your phone? I have Emmy and you are not taking my picture. You're, t you're looking at yourself in the mirror app. All right, go ahead. All right. He's at his own Comedy Central special. He works on The Cover Show, and you've seen him on HBO. If that's not enough, comedian Paul Mercurio <laughs> welcomes A-list celebs to his podcast, the likes of Kevin Costner, Kira Sedgwick, Spike Lee, Stephen Colbert, and even Sir Paul McCartney. And he still finds time to come to hang out with us when he's in town for a show my at Ridley's Comedy pal, Castle. My buddy. What's going on? I feel like I'm home here. I'm going to take my shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Okay, Kim, focus. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> she said wow. something smells in here. I feel like I'm home now. I really do. <laughs> All right, so you have shows tonight through Saturday at Ridley's Comedy Castle. I do? Uh, you know, <clears throat> At the Comedy, yes. It's, uh, it's, uh, one, sh one show tonight, two Friday, two Saturday. All right. Now, that place as a venue, I mean, we know about the Comedy Cellar and we know about these mm. different places. How is, why is Ridley special? for a uh, comedian, touring comedian? Well, f uh, first of all, uh, he put his name on the building. I think that says a lot. <laughs> and there is a moat around the building, and if you attack me, you will be thrown into the moat. Because it is the comedy castle. It, it, is, it is a castle, and, uh, <laughs> and there's mutton, and uh, we... And <laughs> there's... There, there, uh, because he treats comedians really, really well, seriously. And it is, the, the, in my opinion, the best club out in the country right now because it's like... He, really? Tim Allen, yeah, well, because what he's... What about the comedy store or Carolyn's or... You know. Well, be, I'm not working there this weekend, so they're not. <laughs> Idiot! What part of this don't you get? <laughs> oh, my God. I so, can't work with these people. Um, no, so in all seriousness, um, some clubs, it's funny, uh, Joel, who took me here, some works at the club, who we were saying some clubs don't care about taking care of the comedians and making it comfortable for them to have good shows. They do. The audiences are great. They love, They know they're going to get great shows. Um, uh, Tim audiences. Allen got a start there. Yeah, it's it's one of the first A-line clubs in the country. Tell people what you do for the Colbert show. Um, well, I do a mixed bag of things. Stephen and I go back to The Daily Show. I was one of the original writers on The Daily Show with Craig Kilborn, blah, blah, blah. And Stephen came in, and we've known each other since then. Worked on this Colbert sh rapport with him in this show. Uh, I perform on the show, do stand up, do sketches. I do the warm up on the show, and you know, it, it kind of catches catch can of things. And then you know, tour doing stand up and all of that. And that's where I met Paul McCartney, how I met Paul McCartney. Well, obviously working there means you get to meet a ton of famous people who come on that show. Yeah. And did you, did you just like, hey, can I get your number? You say, but <laughs> I, I realize um, if you try to uh, uh, touch uh, Angelina, Angelina Jolie, they will tase you. That's one of the things I learned. There's John Stewart. Yeah, there you go. Well, that was like, I, I had a, you don't can't see it, but there's a gun right underneath. <laughs> I said, John, put your arm around me. I don't want to. Put your arm around me. Brian Cranston would be another one. Yeah. And, uh, there's the. He was great. Room. He was really great. And he's on my podcast and he was so nice and I got to tell you the bigger they are the nicer they are Paul McCartney for yes me. yeah give us the, the refreshment I mean, you and I have known each other a long time yeah off camera will not even look at me in the eye he said he, he <laughs> no, no, told no. Jay the producer tell Paul not to look to look away no eye I don't contact. Know. so Paul McCartney was on the show doing a, a performance and he had just finished rehearsal and I rounding the corner to go into the studio and there's Paul McCartney, all alone, standing in a hallway, no entourage, no security, just leaning against the wall, chewing gum, looking up at the ceiling. And my whole world slows down. I'm like, oh my God, it's Paul McCartney. <laughs> Should I say hi? Should I not say hi? And I'm like, you know what? He's like a gazelle on the Serengeti Plains alone, and I'm take it down. I'm going to pounce. And you did, I and did. you had him on the podcast, and he on. was nice. And he was nice. Okay. That's great. So and remind that... everybody where are you going to be this Oh, weekend? that's it? We're done? Yeah. I'm I have a whole thing. Head. 
with the oh wait, look at my socks. I have a I have a I, I have a voice message from Paul McCartney on my phone. <laughs> I'm serious. Look, can you get a tight on that? Look. Somebody's gonna call you while you're on live television. They shouldn't be calling you right now. <laughs> Paul, leave me alone. I can't help you now. I'm gonna be at Mark Ridley's, Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle tonight, tomorrow, Saturday, and then we're gonna go bowling. You and I are actually gonna go to lunch and go bowling while it's you're here this weekend. It's gonna be awesome. It's true. Have okay. you ever bowled with a champion before? No, but I, have you ever bowled with somebody drunk on tequila? Because you will. <laughs> because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. All right. Paul, great to see you, buddy. Hey, great to see you, man. So I really am going to go to lunch and bowling with Paul. We, we are actually friends. It's not one of those, oh, we're only friends on the show. No, no we are friends. I heard you guys making the plans, and I was a little offended that, you, you know, there was no invite. Do you want to go? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, John Jordan, coming out of the makeup mirror. Where did you come from? Well, the makeup room. Uh, I was in the mirror. <laughs> I'm, I am frequently in the mirror, actually. Spent and, a lot of quality time there. Here's the thing: if you're going to look as good as you, you got to spend a lot of time looking in the mirror. Oh, it's more than more it's, than that. It's a lot of like this is like the Mackinac Bridge in terms of like engineering feats. <laughs> Does oh, it have yeah. to be painted, and then when it's finished, you have to start all over? It's again? a whole crew, and then yeah, it's just it's like we use, it's one end to the other, and then back again. They so, say it takes a village. Oh, it takes yeah. A, a village of mom jeans too, right? Yeah, mom jeans. I mean, yeah, we talked about that on the show today. Well, because you know there were uh, when you think about like mom wardrobe, lots of moms are they're busy, so they kind of sacrifice their sense of style after they become moms. Well, now it's back. Yeah, let's take a look. Well, we all know the life of a mom can get very busy. Taking the kids to school, work, things to do around the house, it can all sometimes lead to sacrificing a sense of style. But much of that mom style is now trending. And thankfully, now we've got Local 4 style editor John Jordan. He's here to tell us that you may want to honor your mom, just not just on Mother's Day, but maybe all throughout the year for her style. Yeah, raid her closet. <laughs> don't, but don't steal things. I was gonna say, Borrow you them. should maybe ask before, <laughs> um, but maybe some moms will see this as a compliment. Oh, absolutely, because things like mom jeans. Mom jeans, they're okay. everywhere. And a mom jean is basically, um, a, you know, a jean that has sort of a fuller straight leg and a high waist, mm -hmm. okay? Um, these happen to be, speaking of moms, these are by Gloria Vanderbilt. Do okay. you know whose mom she is? Um. Anderson Cooper. Oh! There we go. I think I've heard that. <laughs> All right, and the, like here's another pair. Um, the idea being like cinched waist, yeah. long, full, trouser this would have been very in style in the 70s so maybe your mom has vintage jeans that were in style but are now back in style and you know you are you want you can cinch it even if they're a little bit big the look is sort of oversized so you cinch it at the waist with the belt with the belt and i would suggest one maybe that maybe matches denim a how little, cool is yeah. that yeah i like that cinched waist look because it does kind of make you look skinny yes and so that's a great way to yeah do. and you don't really need to do that but <laughs> anyway you can look skinny or yes i think it's just a really cute style so yep. that's just one um one thing you can do with your mom's wardrobe. Yep. Uh, what about the idea of sensible shoes? Okay, so the Birkenstock sandal. These are back, totally. Huge, like you can literally get a designer collaboration mm -hmm. that, where you're going to spend thousands of dollars for them, okay? But I suggest you just get an inexpensive chair, a pair or a knockoff and maybe you put some little floral appliques on it, or you can oh. get some craft paint, like this color, it goes on really easy. Oh. You can certainly dial these up for just a couple of bucks, and that's actually what the designer versions look like. They're just, you know, kind of glitzy. But wait a minute, you gotta ask your mom before you start painting her shoes. Well, yeah, but maybe she'll give them to you. Okay, that's, that's the right? goal. <laughs> yeah, if she's not using them, right? That would be great. Uh, okay, so what other ways can we use crafts uh, to kind of glam up our mom's clothing? So brooches, you know, like these are things that you might find from like your grandma's closet, Ooh, okay? Ooh, Burberry. But, but this is, well, it's my coat. Uh oh. What did you expect? <laughs> All right, so the idea here is this is a 
grouping of brooches okay. to make a bigger statement. That's okay? a statement for so sure. So it could be on a coat like that, but it would also be cool on a denim coat. And this is sort of a unisex premise, okay? I love that. And big jean jackets are in, like, like the mom jeans. Yep. Uh, okay, so now I know you mentioned this before, but pearls. We've got, we've got this big martini glass full of pearls. Tell me yeah. about this. Pearls are all over the place. Literally, they're embellishing items. Uh, you know, you should wear pearls in multiples. And pearls are not just for women. We're seeing a lot of guys. This is my friend Antonio. Wow. Um, he's got a great Instagram. Um, you can follow him at Antonio um, uh, Galanz. Uh, and it, it's, he, you can see he's rocking different looks In here. In different ways, for sure. It, and this is also... Um, this is also something you'll see on the red carpet. You'll see it on musicians. So if you're a cool guy, wear pearls. Okay. Or anybody who's cool is wearing so it. So not just females are raiding their mom's closet this weekend. No. No. And, and anybody. Think about think about all these different options. Scarves. Um, and you may even find something in your mom's closet that still has the tags on it. Look at these are little Missoni shoes. And that, these would look super cute with mom jeans. Right. Yeah. Yep. So you know what? Um, <laughs> follow my friend Antonio for his Pearly, um, you know, uh, wisdom. Pearly Pearls wisdom. of wisdom, get yes, it? Yes, exactly. And it's Ant Antonius, that's his Instagram. Antonius. Yeah. Uh, and then where can people find more tips from you, John? Well, here on Live in the D yes. and on Live in the D Extra. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I will be um, happy to uh, share all of my style wisdom. Perfect. Well, I am really excited because... My mom has a great closet. I actually steal some dresses from her sometimes. Sorry. Love you, Mom. Yep. Uh, <laughs> does she know about it? Uh, she does. She oh. does. She gets excited when she sees it on the news. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for joining us, John. <laughs> so fashion tips there for you. He's so great. He's always got the best tips. Um, okay. So also, I'm really excited because I feel like this weekend is going to be like the start of not summer, but like that nice weather where lots going on. We're on the cusp of an entire week in the 80s. We've got the Kentucky Derby, which is on Local 4. Don't miss it. Saturday. And the you'll best see two minutes of sports. And and you'll see those new Ford commercials that are going to debut during the Kentucky Derby. Oh, okay. Something to watch for. All right. Other things to watch for? Take a look. Uh, we know you may already have your plans for Mother's Day this weekend, but there are plenty of other things happening around the D, Kim. Oh, yes. So let's start with the Kentucky Derby. It is Saturday, and it airs right here on Local 4. There are two events that are bringing the festivities of the big race to town. So first, there's the Derby Day in Detroit, and this happens in the Chevy Plaza and Budweiser Beer Garden outside of Little Caesars Arena. You can walk the red carpet, join the Best Ladies Hat Contest, that sounds fun, or the Men's Best Dress Contest. There, there will also be live music, and this is for 21 and over only, and runs from three until seven. Very cool, that's a great location over there too. Uh, and don't forget about, there's also the Kentucky Derby Day happening all day at the Music Hall Amphitheater. You can watch the race, dance along to live music, and snap photos in your best dress outfits. This also happens on Saturday. It runs from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, so get out there and enjoy it. I love to see the outfits that everyone wears, not just to the Kentucky Derby, but to the parties. Um, even it's part of the, it's like going to auto prom exactly fashion show but the hats are uh, my favorite what do you like uh, specific, specifically about the derby make sure you let us know on social media and if horse racing isn't your thing maybe animation is the Detroit International Festival of Animation returns this year enjoying nearly 90 minutes of animated shorts from local national and international artists yes now tickets cost ten dollars this is gonna happen Saturday at the Senate Theater in Detroit doors open at 7 and the show starts at 8 over in Mount Clemens, the Made in Michigan show happens this Friday and Saturday. Shop specialty made items from artisans both local and from across the state. Also on Saturday, the Kids Business Fair will happen on Cherry Street as part of the event. You can shop local and maybe find something special for mom. Speaking of mom, on Mother's Day, you can buy her fresh flowers for her garden at the annual Royal Oak in Bloom event. This happens in the parking lots near Main Street and 6th downtown. You can find everything from hanging baskets to annuals, bouquets. It runs this Sunday from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Oh, love all the flowers. 
So yes, so much to do this weekend here in the D. I'm really looking forward to seeing all the outfits that the Kentucky Derby brings out. What about you? you want to dress uh, up, do anything? You know, I don't have make anything planned, but maybe I'll just, oh, I'll totally make a wager. <laughs> me too. Yeah. Um, all right, well, thanks for joining us, and uh, thanks for having me on today. Absolutely. We hope your horse wins, and make sure you watch the Derby on Local 4.